Hey guys, how you doing? I'm HexDSL. Hello. I hope you all had a lovely Christmas, or if you don't celebrate Christmas, I hope, you know, you had a cool few days. I always hope that people have a cool few days. That should be like a standard thing. I hope everyone had a cool few days. Have a nice day. I don't know. I don't want to go with this. But uh, anyway, let's talk about Maniac Mansion. Maniac Mansion showed up on uh, on on Steam recently. Quite a surprise. Didn't know it was coming. Had no idea this was coming out. It just I saw it appeared. Um, and it was <laughs> it's weird though. It was released on the fourth of October, the fourth, the fifth of October, nineteen eighty seven. You're like, hmm, no, no. I'm fa <laughs> fairly sure that's not a thing. Um, but yeah, it's, it's pretty it's pretty cool to return up. Um, Maniac Mansion is a point-and-click adventure game from Lucasfilm Games. As I said, released in 1987 originally for the Commodore 64. The, I've got a list here. The Commodore 64, the Apple II, the IBM PC, the Amiga, the Atari ST, the Nintendo Entertainment System. Got really well-reviewed at the time. Um, I first played this inside Day of the Tentacle. There was like a computer in Day of the Tentacle you could go to. and You could play Maniac Mansion inside Day of the Tentacle, um, which I thought was cool. First time I'd ever heard of it, that wasn't, you know, wasn't on the internet at the time as a kid. So it blew my mind. And uh, I played a crap load of it over the years in different forms. It works in Scum VM. Um, this version of the game is the enhanced version, not the one you can just plonk in Scum VM and play. Um, it's, you know, I don't really know how much more enhanced it is. I haven't, I, like, my memory of it is that this is the same. I remember it being, like, I'm sure that, like, you know, it's horrendously <laughs> improved compared to the original. Um, we'll have a look actually. The Steam version's got the original if it runs. I'm looking at the enhanced version now. But yeah, very, very, no, very nice. Nice game. Nice game. Uh, priced at £4.79 and it's uh, £3.20 at the moment because it's on sale. <coughs> and it's um, quick. Dr. Fred's kidnapped Sandy and he's about to start ex the experiment. Yeah, it's cool. Um, that, that's the whole plot, really. And uh, you take three kids in, you can pick which three kids and you explore the place and, you, you know, you. Uh, and you know, you say save the girl and get out alive, sort of thing. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's it's very much in the vein of Monkey Island, uh, Monkey Island Two, Full Throttle, Day of the Tentacle, all these old, yeah, all these old point and click games. This was pretty much the first. Obviously, there were games before it, but pretty much the first I can remember uh, in this series of really great point and click adventure games. Um, and it's nice to this one on Linux. Uh, Three point two hours, zero point nine hours, zero point nine hours. Yeah, people. Mm, not played loads of it, maybe. Maybe the nostalgia goggles slip after about half hour. <laughs> Who knows? I'm going to look forward to getting through this. But uh, anyway, uh, I do have the game loaded and ready to look at. Look, now, here's a windowed mode. All 10 sets in full screen mode. Not not that, you know, it, it's 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 much of a, <laughs> not that it's much of a full screen. Now, here's my kid. Uh, we're looking at my kid now. And we can explore. We can click on stuff. You create sentences. Like, if I want to use an object on another object to go use, then I click on the object and then the other object. But, like, use tape on cassette player you know and then you click again and it activates it um very nice like sort of create a sentence to, to to make actions within the game um here's my other oh that was the same kid again here let's get to sid this is sid who's currently in the music room which is some ominous handprints he's got more items no batteries for flashlight though but when i do get them i would go like you know use like flashlight on batteries um all these batteries on flashlight uh, because that's how the game uh, that's how the game works. It's really nice. Now you'll notice there's no sound. Um, I've got the sound turned off because the sound just does a lot of clunking on my machine. For whatever reason, the sound does not sound correct. Uh, but I don't know what it's supposed to sound like. So maybe the sound does sound correct. Um, but it's a lot of beeping and stuff. Yeah, look at this. This is a this is a thing. Nice things. I, I don't remember what to do with any of this. I feel like my mind's gone completely blank as I play it. Um, I don't remember any of the puzzles that were the game. Now I remember it like like as a as a kid getting like f like reasonably far in it, but uh, I can't for the life of me remember how I did it or what I did. But yeah, we can walk around here. There you go. There's the two kids. They're together, and then we can go new kid, and we can go to Dave now. We can go this way. We can go new kid. We can go Sandy. Uh, the Razor, sorry, he's locked in a dungeon because she got caught in the kitchen. Um, and the secret lab is there. I, I assume. I'm just guessing here. Um, but yeah, it's, it's it's an interesting game. Um, probably not one to pick up if you're not nostalgic for it or you're not interested in this genre of gaming or the history of this genre. Um, but uh, if you are interested in that stuff and or you do remember it fondly from when you was a kid, this is a good version, nice Steam version here. Now the weird thing about this one is you have to hit F5 to bring up the options menu. Now it doesn't it, like obviously if you use Scum VM you'll know that already. But um, if you uh, <coughs> if you load the game it doesn't really tell you hit f5 at any point as far as i could see which is great um and as you can see i've got my sound muted maybe i should unmute it and see what happens 
Uh, okay, we go. Let's see if uh, let's see, let's see if my uh, new kid. Let's see. Let's see if uh, the weird sound happens again. See no. Oh, there you go. Clunk, clunk. I suppose that's supposed to be the clock, isn't it? But it's just jarring as fuck. Yeah, it just sounds like it's cut off the sample or something, which is probably because it's you know using the original sound effects. But the, the sound's just oh, so annoying. <laughs> it's, just, it's so annoying. It just sounds like it's not being rendered right, just because it's because it's such an old game, I suppose. And then we can go in here. Yeah, we turn a lamp on here, and here it was all dark when I first came in here. Found a tape in a secret panel over here. Look, found a tape in a secret panel, and there's a phone here we'll be able to use at some point. A lamp. Yeah, no, I think we have to do something with the plant at one point as well. Can I, uh, can I pick up the plant? Can I pick up the plant? Let's try and pick up the plant. So we will pick up the plant. I can't pick that up. He can't pick it up. It's too heavy for him, I assume. Nice enough version, right? Um, anyway, alt enter to go to window mode. And we can just quit the game right there. And let's see if the let's see if we can now we, we've tried that one. Let's see if we hit play on Steam. We get this pop-up thing and we can go Maniac Mansion classic version. Yay! Ooh. There you go. Ooh, jarring. Uh, yeah, that 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 that's the Maniac Mansion we all know and love. Um <laughs> It's weird because of what your brain does, isn't it? Because like I literally remember the game looking like the enhanced version and it, i didn't find it jarring at all but now i'm like ah the, this is yeah this is this is what it was like um this 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 is what it was like definitely um very yeah wow enhanced games great they, they make it look like you remember it um the um the uh the other games are the same day the tentacle enhanced version i was when i first played it i was like looking at it going oh, it looks it looks exactly how i'd expect it to look and uh and then i uh and then, and then I pushed the button with F1 to uh, to put it in, in the retro and I was like, oh, oh, my brain did a number on me. Um, <laughs> but uh, we can we can pull the rug, pull the door mat, and it just reveals the key. And um, we can you know, pick up the key. It works. It works the same. And um, works exactly the same. Um, let's see if that ticking sound is just as fucking jarring in this version. Um, so we're gonna use the key on the door. Ooh, nice. Ah, oh, it's not even ticking. Not even. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Fuck, it sounds really annoying. I'm glad I turned the light. I honestly thought I was glitched at first. I was like, just saying, like it's cut off. But now, yeah, maybe not. Ah, look at this. It's a, it's a classic. It's a classic. But again, he can hit five to bring it in menu, which is nice. But yeah, that's uh, that's uh, that's Maniac Mansion. I, I I think it's worth I definitely think it's worth four pounds seventy nine just as a piece of historical information you know to be able to play it and go well that's what it was like which is really nice I think I would like to know where this enhanced version came from though I wonder if this is the version of Maniac Mansion that's inside the Day of the Tentacle enhanced maybe um I don't know I'll have to do some more digging hmm I feel like I don't know something here there's something about this that I'm not knowing um but either way it's, it's Maniac Mansion I likes it. It's interesting, and I'm going to be playing more of this. Probably not want to stream, <laughs> to be fair. But I probably will never finish it, because it's, I dare say it's got some ridiculous moon logic -y things going on. But uh, nevertheless, a nice trip down memory lane. I've been HexDSL. This has been Maniac Mansion. Um, if you're interested in my content, this is the first video you've watched of mine, or you've recently to the channel. Uh, if you look at the description below, you'll find links to all my different sorts of places, including my Discord server, my Patreon if you'd like to support me, uh, or my Twitter if you just want to hang out and get every now and again tweets from me where I sort of remember Twitter as a thing, which is what I do a lot. Um, I just sort of forget about Twitter for endless amounts of time. Think, oh, Twitter's a thing. I should tweet for days. I don't even just go back to it. But uh, anyway, thank you for watching. I've been Hanks.